guessing will get you nowhere in life. Having your fortune read is detestable to God. Even what seems right can often be misleading. And the Bible warns us that such a path leads to death. So what's left to us? How can we come to a decision or make a plan that's in keeping with the will of God? Well, today's email comes from a viewer who is seeking direction. And her email reads, What is wisdom? Apparently, this is something that I'm lacking because when I do my scripture reading, it seems to always be about wisdom. Well, there are many verses of scripture in the Bible about wisdom. And I want to begin with Proverbs chapter 9 to say this is where it all starts. Listen. Verse 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That is reverencing God and acknowledging who he is is the very beginning of wisdom. So let me give you a definition. Wisdom is seeing things from God's viewpoint and responding to his viewpoint according to the Holy Word of God. It's not an emotion. Human wisdom is deficient. The fact is, we need to know the will of God. Wisdom and knowledge are not the same, and oftentimes people think they are. They're not the same. They're linked together, but the Scripture says they're not the same. Wisdom is much greater than knowledge because you're finding out what is the mind of God. You can have knowledge and leave God out of it totally. Knowledge without wisdom is not sufficient. Wisdom is the right use of knowledge. And so we contrast wisdom, the Word of God, with the world's wisdom. And the Scripture says the world's wisdom is foolish. That is because they think in ways that leave God out. So the truth is, how can you and I become wise? Meditating upon the Word of God, talking to God and listening to Him. Now watch this carefully and observing the results. Watch this. We are meditating on the Word of God. We are talking to Him, and we are observing the results of being obedient to Him, listening to Him. Godly instruction comes from God, and when we follow His leadership and guidance, we're going to be wise. And if you'll turn, if you will, if you have your Bible, to the 13th chapter of uh, Proverbs and the 20th verse of this 13th chapter. And here's what the scripture says. He who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. You want to be wise? Find some wise people to walk with. But we're certainly thankful you've joined us today for In Touch. And as we close, remember this. Trusting God means looking beyond what you can see to what God sees. <music> 